Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 9th. Okay, the timing is fluid though, right? The timing is absolutely fluid. So let's just see what comes up. What kind of message do I have to deliver today? What kind of message do I have to deliver today? Chariot. A chariot moving fast, moving forward. Somebody is taking the lead, being the boss, uh, has found their determination, very determined, very determined to get something. Uh, ready to face opposition. moving forward making a move somebody is making a move they are determined for victory they're in control of their emotions they know what they want they know where they're going and they're going okay they're going for it taking a journey as well with the chariot card competition you bet your ass there is so yeah, there's a big, huge competition here. And this person is ready. Okay, very determined. This is a winner. Okay, I'm going to win. I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. There is definitely some sort of competition. Um, it's a big one. Multiple people fighting. They're fighting for something. I, you know, I don't know. There's a woman on this card. So I wonder if there's a multiple competitors for this person. Um... Hmm. Now this is, this is, and this is victory, competing. So we have a competition for the win, right? We have a competition for the win that is going on. Hmm. Oh, nine of pentacles reversed. Now the nine of pentacles reversed is... Uh, somebody that doesn't want to be single anymore. They don't want to be alone. They may feel like they can't be alone. This is somebody that may have some insecurities. They, they need. It's like they need somebody. They're looking for that um, perfect match or something like that. There's definitely a lot of people competing. I think they're competing for this person's attention. Now the the night I mean the night the nine of pentacles reversed is a person that really doesn't want to be alone doesn't want to be single doesn't want to be independent doesn't is lonely this is somebody coming in though it's one of the one of the people is going to win somebody's going to win this competition this is a fight it's a battle okay somebody is going to win Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that is a hard worker, very skilled, has a lot of common sense, and doesn't give up. This person is very outdoorsy. The Sun reversed. Now the Sun reversed is not happy. Somebody's not happy. They're not happy. They're sad. Um, they may not be seeing a situation clearly. There's poor logic with this. Loneliness. There's loneliness. There's loneliness due to dis disillusionment, right? Perhaps somebody couldn't uh, master their emotions. They, they weren't ready, but now they are ready. High Priestess Reverse. Now this is choosing to be single. Yeah, somebody was choosing to be single. Choosing to be alone. Maybe they were in some sort of depression or something. Ah, 
but now they got this sudden desire, this sudden new drive, this sudden ambition, this sudden new vision, okay? They got this vision. So they were choosing to be single. They weren't ready. They were going through something they needed to go through alone. Now they're ready. They're ready for this new exciting adventure. So I think we have somebody here that uh, is moving very quickly. Something has changed within them. Maybe they've received some sort of sign. Now the death, this is a sudden desire and this is a new spark or an instant attraction or a new sexual partner. Just go for it. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Very, very much ready to go. It's, new, it's like a new lease on life. It's like I'm just ready. I'm ready. So the Hierophant is a higher power. It is um, access to God. It's about faith, calling for you to have faith, to believe. Somebody could be dealing with a very spiritual person. This person is very spiritual. Somebody is, is headed towards a commitment. Okay, they're headed towards some sort of commitment. Maybe they they weren't really looking for it. They weren't really looking for it, but they are headed towards it. Somebody is, is moving very, very quickly towards a solid opportunity. And it's like you, you probably weren't planning on giving up your independence, but you may now. You know what I mean? There is definitely some movement with that first card being the chariot. It is. And it's 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 a very it's positive. It is definitely positive. But with the five of wands there's there's strong competition. There's a lot of people competing. They are this is a big huge competition. It is a huge competition. There is definitely uh sudden desire, um a sudden spark or need. Yeah, there's two choices. We have somebody here that is going to need to choose between two. Uh-oh, we got the King of Cups reversed. We got one of these people on this hand that may not be emotionally available. So there is going to be a choice between two people. One of these people um, does not have good intentions. They are withdrawn and secretive and they don't communicate well. They may uh, love bomb you in the beginning, and uh, that's about it. So one of the choices is an individual that uh, doesn't have any real love to offer. This person does not have good intentions, and I know I'm reiterating that, but the King of Cups is somebody, in reversed, that is closed off. This person is closed off. They are... Uh, non-communicative they or they don't communicate well they're withdrawn they're secretive they don't tell you everything they're closed off they're closed off emotionally so one of these people is closed off emotionally but they know they are a very smooth talker of love okay so this person is is a smooth smooth one very very smooth but they really don't have anything so that's one of the competitors one of the competitors is a smooth talker who is emotionally unavailable could be a, a Pisces cancer Scorpio okay um, the other choice it could be an earth sign but it doesn't have to be and this doesn't have to be a water sign could be an earth sign could be a fire sign could be a uh, an air sign doesn't really matter but the, the, the second choice is somebody so you're gonna have to choose okay this is a choice it's a choice between two you got somebody who uh, doesn't have good intentions over here and then you and there's two choices there's definitely two choices and then you got somebody here that moves a little bit slower they're a, um, are very realistic they're very practical um, they're a hard worker this person is very um, goal oriented um, so there's two choices. 
There's two prominent choices here. So we got this independent person that doesn't want to be alone, that has obviously has somebody competing for their attention. This is a strong competition, needing to make a choice between two. There's two top contenders here out of, um, well, I don't know, I imagine there's a lot. Um, anyhow, but this is a new exciting opportunity. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, anyway, we could be dealing with anybody, but this is an opportunity for commitment. And it may start out in a sexual manner. Okay, I'm just saying. It could start out uh, as being, you know, I just want to be alone. I kind of want to be alone or something like that. And they, somebody ends up not being alone. They end up getting into a commitment with this person. So just saying. Um, there could also be somebody that is... For another people, for somebody else, there could be a there could be a fight, okay? Because this is a competition. It's also a fight. There's a fight here, um, perhaps between a uh, with somebody that is uh, secretive. This person is secretive. This person is closed off. They don't they don't communicate well. Uh, there could be a fight, and this person heads out because they're not happy. They'd rather be alone, okay? Maybe they maybe they just decide I'm heading out of here. I got to do the right thing. I do the practical thing. They're moving. Somebody may be moving. Somebody's definitely moving in a new direction. There's no doubt. This is mastering your emotions, getting in the driver's seat, packing up, moving. Somebody's moving, okay? Or they're moving in a new direction. Or if they're not physically moving, they're moving towards something solid, towards something stable. I think there's been a level of uncertainty here. We have somebody here that was going back and forth. They were struggling. They were they were really struggling. This is like this can be like a tug of war, and this is a lot of imbalance, a needing to adapt and be flexible. And it's like you can't be flexible with somebody who doesn't communicate. How can you adapt to that shit if you can't communicate with me? If you don't want to talk to me? If you're not wanting commitment? If you're not open emotionally? Then you know that you can't adapt to that shit so anyway there is somebody that may be choosing to be single after being in a commitment i just got to be honest with you they're choosing to be single so they're moving they may be moving and it could happen very suddenly because this is a very sudden sudden change okay this is sudden change so something is happening suddenly and it happens because we got somebody here that's not happy there's no growth where they're at there's no growth and I feel like they were unaware. They were unaware that whoever they were dealing with um, wasn't emotionally unavailable. Either way, it looks to me as though somebody is moving in another direction towards something stable. It's not going to be easy, but they've made a plan and they're going to follow through with it. I think they're ready for this change. And however this change resonates with you, if you have been in a commitment, this is a change. And it happens all of a sudden. So look at it this way. If you have been in a commitment, you may be getting out of that commitment. I'm just being honest with you. If you are single, your independence may be uh, going away. You may be getting into a commitment. There's definitely going to be a change where you are going to have to uh, adapt to some changing circumstances. Somebody is moving and they are moving into something uh, that is very practical. It's very realistic. It's, it's what they've been wanting. Okay, it's what they've been wanting. They've been wanting this. They've been planning for it. It's time. It's time. Um, there's going to be a change in the establishment put it that way this is just go for it somebody has been divinely guided because this is divine guidance to just go for it just go for it you're not happy where you're at just go for it. And somebody's going to go for it. However it resonates for you. There's going to be a change. And there's a choice between two options. Yeah, something is over. Ten of Swords is over. It's the end of a situation. It's the end of a painful situation. So whether you have been alone and you've been waiting for somebody to come... 
uh, pick you up. Well, they could definitely be coming to pick you up. Or if you have been in a relationship and it's been hurting you, you know, this could be the end of it. You're leaving or so, that other person is leaving. This could go both ways. It's the end of a painful situation. I feel like the decision is being made. We have one individual here that uh, doesn't know how to love. Will not offer love. And that hurts. This is this is like a goodbye. This is an exchange. Divine timing. Allowing and accepting change. This is a temperance card. Everything has happened for a purpose. Life is changing. It is about to change. So if you, whatever your situation is, expect the opposite. This is opposite. Expect the opposite to happen. That's opposites, okay? Expect the opposite to happen. I don't know why it does that. It's a change, okay? So be prepared for a change. I think it's a pretty big one. This is an exciting opportunity. It's very exciting. For some of you, this is a new sexual partner that leads to commitment. And you weren't even looking for it. Good luck. 